Hi everybody, this is Alex from the Cumberland River Compact um, and today we're going to be doing an activity called Litter in Our Water. And so the first thing that I need to tell you is this is my friend Freddy the Fish and he is going to go on an adventure today and I'm going to get to tell you all about that adventure and the things that he encounters. So Freddie lives right now in the headwaters of the Cumberland River, which is the very tippy top and it's where the Cumberland River starts. And these headwaters are beautiful, they're clean, it's a natural protected area, there's no pollution, meaning that there's nothing dirty in it that we don't want to be there. So Freddie's lived there his whole life and he loves it in the headwaters, but he decided that he wanted to go on a vacation. So Freddie starts to swim all down the Cumberland River. He starts swimming and swimming just to see what he'd find. And the first thing that he finds is a big flat field in the middle of farm country. And on this field, he, there's a few plants, but mostly it's just open area. And while he's visiting in this farmland area, it starts to rain. And when it starts to rain, a bunch of the soil that was sitting on top of that field washes into the Cumberland River where Freddie is living. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little jar that has soil in it and I'm going to pour that into Freddie's water. Uh-oh. So now you guys can see Freddie's water is a little bit dirtier. He's got some dirt in there. And that's really not that good for Freddie because if we think about fish and the way that they breathe, fish have gills and they pull water in through their gills so they can take the oxygen out and breathe. But if Freddie has a bunch of soil in his water and he tries to pull in that oxygen so he can breathe, he's going to pull in some of that soil and that's not going to be very good for him. He's not going to be able to breathe easily with a bunch of soil in his water. So Freddie's water isn't very clean, so he's probably not going to be able to stay here. He's going to have to keep moving. He's going to move on and find a new place to explore. So he keeps swimming, he keeps swimming, and he finds a housing development right along the side of the river. And in this housing development, there are beautiful lawns, beautiful green lawns that look super nice, and they're green and lush, and they look so pretty. But what happens is it starts raining again and what happens is the fertilizer that was on top of these lawns that was making them nice and green and beautiful for us to look at washes into the Cumberland River too. So let's go ahead and pour in that fertilizer into Freddie's water. Oh there it goes, it's in there. So now Freddie's water is even dirtier than it was before and now we have a little bit more in there. So what happens when we get too much fertilizer into Freddie's water <coughs> um, is sometimes we get big algae blooms, which means that there's lots of algae that's living on top of the water. And sometimes that blocks our plants being able to live. And also sometimes it kills all of our fish. So it doesn't really sound like it's going to be safe for Freddie to stay here either. So Freddie decides that he has to keep going. He's going to find a new adventure. He's going to keep swimming. So he keeps going and he finds this big parking lot. It's a big parking lot right next to a grocery store. And in that parking lot, Freddie sees lots and lots of cars that are all hanging out in this parking lot. And a few of those cars are actually leaking oil onto the parking lot surface. And because that parking lot is super flat and it doesn't let any of the water soak in underneath it, a lot of that water or a lot of that oil is going to run off into the Cumberland River too. So let's go ahead and take this canister of oil that we have here and pour that into Freddie's water. Ooh. Let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look at that. Uh-oh, Freddie's water looks pretty dark now, doesn't it? That's not very clean. And you and I don't like to swim in oil. It makes your skin all slippery and you're not able to look around. It makes the water dark and we're not able to do the things that we regularly need to do. So Freddie is going to have to keep swimming. He can't stay here either. So he keeps going. He keeps going. And it's actually pretty cold outside now. Freddie starts getting into this, the parts of the Cumberland River that are pretty cold. And 
So up on the side of the river, there is a bunch of ice on top of our roads. Our roads that are right next to the river have ice on them now. And what we do in Tennessee, in the, Cumber in the Cumberland River area, and kind of all over the United States, when our roads get cold, we put salt on them so that that melts the water and we're able to drive. But when that water melts, sometimes it takes our salt into, the into our Cumberland River when it runs off. So because it's so cold and because that salt has started running off into the Cumberland River when the ice melts, we're going to have to put some of that salt into Freddie's water too. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's take a closer look now. Freddie's water now has some of that salt in it and that's kind of yucky. And Freddie isn't a saltwater fish. Freddie doesn't live in the ocean like those salt like saltwater fish do. So he's not going to be able to survive very well in an area that has lots and lots of salt in it. So Freddie's going to have to keep swimming again. He's not going to be able to stay here either. So Freddie keeps going and he finds a park with lots and lots of kids there and they're having this big birthday party. It's a huge party with lots of kids. It's the whole third grade. They're all there. And I know you guys would never do this, but I know you guys are all going to be so disappointed when you hear what happened at this birthday party. So all of these students were there and they all had cups and they had plates and they had their cake and all of this fun party stuff. And instead of throwing it in the trash can like they were supposed to, they just dumped all of their trash onto the ground. And they said, it's okay, somebody else will come pick it up and it won't be that big of a deal. But what happened was that it rained that night and all of that garbage got washed into the Cumberland River. And so we're going to have to go in and pour all of this garbage into Freddie's water. So now Freddie has some trash in his water. Let's look a little bit closer. Can you guys see all of the trash in there? Yeah. So it's not good to have all of this trash in Freddie's water. He could bump into it. It could get it wrapped around his neck. It could make it harder for him to see the things that he needs to actually be doing. So a lot of this trash is going to make it really hard for Freddie to live in this area. So Freddie's going to go ahead and keep swimming. He can't stay here. There's too much garbage. It's too dangerous for him. So he keeps going. And he gets into a kind of a different part of town and he finds these industrial buildings, industrial buildings. And the first one that he finds is a factory. And there's a lot, we have a lot of really good factories here that are along the Cumberland River that do a really great job keeping everything safe and doing what they can to make sure our water stays healthy. But sometimes we have a few accidents and things end up falling into the water. And while Freddie was swimming, he passed a factory that accidentally released a bunch of its waste into the water. So we're going to go ahead and put this factory waste into Freddie's water. Oh no, now it's all soapy and bubbly. That's kind of scary. Here, let's go ahead and look at that a little bit closer. Can you guys see the bubbles on top of Freddie's water? So those bubbles are probably filled with some kind of chemicals. And those chemicals aren't very good for the fish that live in the water like Freddie or some of the smaller critters that we have living in the water that are living with Freddie. So Freddie doesn't think it's very safe. He sees those bubbles and he thinks, ooh, this probably isn't a very good place for me to stay. So he keeps swimming, he keeps swimming. And he finds um, a different type of factory. And this one is called a wastewater treatment plant. And we have a really good wastewater treatment plant here in Nashville that does a really good job keeping everybody safe and a lot of our water safe. But sometimes, just like what happened with our factory, sometimes we get scary accidents that aren't what we want to happen. But in wastewater, in case you didn't know what that was, is what happens after we go to the bathroom. So when we go to the bathroom and then we flush the toilet, that water has to go somewhere to be cleaned. And so the wastewater treatment plant had a pretty bad accident one day and it dumped a few tubs of bad stuff into Freddie's water. And so we're going to go ahead and pour that into his water right now. Uh-oh. Can you guys see that? Let's look a little bit closer. Look at Freddie's water. It's all red. And so Freddie saw that too. Freddie saw that there was some of that yucky stuff in his water and he could smell it and he could see it and he decided he was like this is not good for me i can't stay here this isn't safe and so he keeps going he keeps going and this is his last stop his last stop he passes a hazardous waste dump and so if you guys don't know what hazardous waste is hazardous waste is really really toxic stuff that can hurt you it could hurt me 
It can hurt anybody that comes in contact with it. Normally it's stored in containers that have this little warning sign on it that says caution, caution, kind of stay away from this. And what happened was at this particular hazardous waste site, one of the barrels that it was stored in didn't have its lid secured all the way on top. And so when that hazardous waste bin fell over, all of that hazardous waste ran into Freddy's water. So let's go ahead and pour this into Freddy's water really quick. Oh no, it is even dirtier now. So let's look at Freddy's water after he went through all of that stuff. Oh my gosh, so Freddy's water is pretty dirty. He saw a lot of different things and a lot of different types of pollution. But the important thing to know about this stuff is that in the Cumberland River today, our water does not look like this. We have a lot of people that work really, really hard to keep all of these different types of pollution or the bad, dirty stuff out of our water. So we have a lot cleaner water than Freddie has. But if we wanted to try and help make sure that Freddie's water stays clean like it is in the Cumberland River, there's a few things that we can do to help him do that. And one of the really, really big ways that we can help Freddie is to make sure that we're not littering, that we're not throwing our garbage on the ground or we're not throwing any of our um, different types of chemicals on the ground or in the water, we don't wanna do that. And another really important thing to do is to make sure that we plant lots and lots of trees. It's important for us to have trees all along the side of our rivers because that helps us to filter out all of that bad stuff as it washes in down into the bottom of our river. So we wanna make sure that we're planting trees and we're not littering. Those are the two really, really big things that we can do to help Freddie and help all of our other fish friends that live in the Cumberland River. And so now what I need you guys to do is answer a few questions for me. So if you guys could go ahead and pull out a piece of paper just like this one or a blank piece of paper, anything that you have in front of you, and there's a few questions that you can answer for me. The first one is to list three ways that pollution got into Freddie's water. What were three different things that got, wa that, got that pollution inside Freddie's water to get it dirty? And the second one is why is it so bad when Freddie had all of that soil in his water, what happened? Was Freddie, like why did Freddie have such a hard time living with all that soil in the water? And if you have to back up the video to go look and ch double check your answer, that's totally okay too. And the last one is list two ways that we can help keep wa Freddie's water nice and clean. So think of the two ways that we just talked about that can help Freddie stay nice and clean and he healthy and safe inside of his water. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for um, sticking around to do our litter in our water activity. And if you guys wanna check out our description or you wanna see anything else about the Cumberland River Compact, our um, link to our website is in the video description. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching.